all right guys welcome to to the day two of our graphic design crash course and in this particular video i'll be talking about branding and identity branding and identity then lastly i'll be talking about color and typography the psychology of color and typography or let's say the theory of color and typography so let's dive in Branding and visual identity are all around us. You find them on websites, product packaging, and different types of advertising. So even personal items like documents and business cards bear some form of identity. So the the idea behind branding and an identity is just what people know about your product to identify or to know about your company or products so that they will identify it among others so that's the scope behind branding and identity so this is an example of product packaging this is an example of product label you can see from the labeling of this label you can see brand name product name so this is just to to you know to to show your products to so that the people can differentiate your product from other people's products you can see this is a letter here this is a business card so all these they, they carry a form of identity so what is branding exactly branding is what other people think about you your company your products or your service so Branding is uh, generally what people think about you. So when people see you, what exactly comes to their mind? That's what branding is. The reason why I choose Indomie is that, you know, up to today, most people don't know that Indomie is a brand of Nodu. I don't know if you understand. Indomie is just like a brand of Nodu. Nodu is not called Indomie, but in Nigeria, I don't know. That's what, we, when we're growing up, that's what they call it. They call it generally Indomie. I, I want to cook Indomie today. And sometimes when you see what they are cooking, it might be cooking another brand of noodles, maybe Super Pack, Hungry Mouse, stuff like that. But the name, the, the reason why is that the first brand of noodles that come to maybe Nigeria is Indomie. So that's why people just generalize that term of noodles on indomie so even some elderly man up to today they don't know indomie as noodles because when you ask them what is noodles they will just be looking at you but when you say indomie ah, they already know that okay this is what they're talking about so branding is exactly what people think about you So identity is what the, your brand look like from your logo to your color choices. So from these two pictures, you can tell which is Airtel Office, which is MTN Office, even though even they do not put their logos. When you enter an Airtel Office, you know that okay, this is Airtel Office. When you enter an MTN Office, you know that this, this is an MTN Office because of their color choices even though they remove their logo but you must always see the logo so when you enter a shop now you just see green everywhere is green you know okay this is glow okay when they tell you okay this green office is an empty and is an empty and office you feel confused and you will not even believe that okay this is glow office not empty and empty and office so that's a form of identity identity help people to identify your brand the way it looks so that when they see your brand they know okay this is your brand have you ever chosen a product simply because you liked the way it looked i uh, mean i'm I, I, i'm a victim of this question actually so as at the time i was using iphone 4 i probably i actually buy because of <laughs> It's funny actually. I buy iPhone 4 because of this button. 
So I was watching a movie on uh, detective stars and the guy was actually so the the phone was portable the way he text very fast very quick and the phone is right is fast quite all right so compared to the smartphone we used that in those days so this phone is fast very 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 fast and this button you know the the idea behind this button is that those years if you want to put your phone in silent mode you have to long press all this ash or going to a long way but with this button you just switch and everything just go silent so these are the reason why i buy that iphone that year because it's portable the way it looked i can just put it anywhere i want even up to today i love portable phones so the way it looked attracted me to buy the iphone and the design the way they design that button you can just switch it no problem and the phone is solid when you're holding it so those are the things i see in that phone that made me buy it bought it that time so the main components of visual identity are just logo color typography and images so as a brand if you are starting your brand today or you've started but you didn't you didn't notice all these things I urge you to go and sit and think about all these things all over again. You must work on your logo, you must work on your color selection, you must work on the typography, the type of fonts you're going to be using, and you, you must work on your images, the kind of picture you are going to be putting out there. And when you finish selecting all these three, you must be consistent with it because that's what will put your brand in people's mind so that when people see your color when people see your uh, images when people see your logo they know okay they know that okay this is social so, so, so brand so let's start from logo a logo is what identify your brand using a particular mark type design or both so you can tell from this logo now even when you are sleeping i just wake up and they ask you what logo is this you know okay uh, this is apple now this is it can be the apple phone the the uh, laptop even some almost all their product this is what they use this is their brand logo so the most effective logo tends to be fairly simple something viewers will recognize and remember so if you see good good logos in the world they are very simple look at airtel look at mtn it's just simple mtn you just write their mtn with this short red under the t and the circle that's all it's very simple and you know smooth everybody know okay this is mtn so the apple as well everybody know that this is an apple logo so every element of your logo contributes to your brand identity include your font color and your Im other imagery so the way you structure your logo is very very important because if you change even one of these elements it can have a big impact on the way your brand is perceived look at these two logos this is the correct version and when you're trying to tweak things and eventually design this type of logo, you know, first of all, the 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 font the font choices is not good. Like people hardly read this. Plus your imagery, the color is still good, but the imagery you can see the icon compared to this, they are different two different things. So when you are doing your logo consider working on every element because if you change one particular element it can have a big impact on the way your brand looks practically logos are everywhere we all know that we all see logos every day you find them everywhere in corporate settings in small businesses freelancers use logo entrepreneurs use logo so a logo is a literal brand it's how people come to recognize you and identify your products and services so this 
if you stay in Abuja, you know that okay, this is next level. Next is just like one of the best um mall in Abuja before the tragic that happens happened. So you know that this is Linda Ikeji's blog. This is Ali Kodalbote Foundation. You know this is Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, um, Snapchat, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, Twitter, uh, TikTok, Pinterest. You know all these logos. We see them almost every single day. I know from all the social media stuffs now. Unless you maybe you are not more using social media. I know you must you must have all these on your phone. Like me, I have this. I have this. What is? I think that's all. Okay, I have this. So just it just like I'm trying to stay away from social media these days, but this are still kind of important to me, and I cannot just do so. Literally, everybody has all this on their phone, so we see logo on a daily basis because they are everywhere. The next thing in branding is color. Color helps define your brand in a very, very powerful way. Not only does it make a strong impression on the viewer, but it also creates a sense of unity when used across multiple projects or platforms. So when color is just like when you consistently use in your color in every design you put out, people there's this sense of unity that people feel. So as I was showing you Google logos, uh, Google color the other time, the other and the other video in the first video, you can see the consistent using of their color. Those there are four color: blue, green, I think, yellow and red. So. They consistently use this color because they want their brand to, you know, when people just see this color, they know, okay, this is for Google. So that's the score behind color, using color. So most brands derive their main color directly from the company logo. So most brands pick their color from when they design their logo and most brands just use another different logo entirely. So the next thing is typography. Another very important thing in identity is your typography, the use of text. So text is one of the simpler aspects of identity, but it can be surprisingly expressive. So the way you use your text, the way you use your words matters most. The type of font you use, the way you structure them. So most brands choose two or three fonts Often inspired by a logo for basic every so like me for my brand you can see these are my colors uh, orange white and black and for my font I, I always use Montserrat is a sans serif font you we'll get the Montserrat Montserrat so I like this color because it's very smooth it's very solid so it's so you can choose your brand font the way if it pleases you like you know you like how it looks but when you are choosing fonts of typography make sure they are very clear fonts don't use all these jaga jaga fonts so creative fonts should also be chosen with care and should be a reflection of your unique visual identity so these are the fonts you should avoid so these are professional advice you should avoid all these fonts when you are choosing your brand identity this is chalk duster algeria impact but me i kind of like this impact but i don't know why they say so comic sounds korea joker man christian itc okay papyrus bradley bradley hood Blading Cowboys Hobo Bush Script Calls. So these are the fonts when you are choosing your brand color, a uh, brand font. You should avoid all these fonts that we're talking about. So the next one is image. Image are a huge part of building a unique identity. 
every photographic icon and button is a chance to showcase your brand and shape the way it's perceived so in professional settings images are usually created specifically for the brand for instance pictures are in a catalog or graphics in, a, in an app so if you want to start your brand you have to create your images from the beginning maybe the type of brand ambassador you're going to be using or the kind of so images to something that we just talk about your brand but if you don't have, if you don't have the luxury of doing this you don't have probably you don't have the money to do it or the advantage to do it you can choose your picture from third party stocks like check stock website where you can get stock photos so choose pictures but when you are choosing picture make sure they are of the same color or the same style don't choose different picture like look at this what they have come in common is just this yellow so this yellow lady this yellow boss and this is a guy sitting on a yellow couch so that's the idea behind it you either choose it so that it will be in similar color or in similar style so now let's talk about typography in details what do you what do you expect or uh, what should you understand by typography so typography is everywhere we look everywhere in your books the website you read every day in your everyday life the road signs product packaging everywhere you see font you see typography So in a simple term, sorry, typography is the style or appearance of text. That's a simple term. So it can also refer to the art of working with text, something you probably do all the time if you create documents, stuff like that. So we all use typography almost every day. Even when you are typing up your WhatsApp message that you are sending, you can see there are some phone that they will give you option of like changing the way your text looks some people like using all these stylish fonts so that i don't know the kind of joy it gives them but some people like it like that so the two type these types of fonts we have is serif and sans serif so serif fonts have little stroke called serifs attached to the main part of the letter so these are serifs all these things you are seeing all these things these are serifs serif serif so serif is just like stroke i don't know the probably maybe it's a french language or something like that so but when you say okay because of their classic look they are good choices for more traditional projects they are also common in print publication like magazines and newspapers so you can see the way it looks solid but me really i don't really like using serif fonts i don't know why so this is sans serif so sans is an is a french name is a french word means without that means sans serif means without serif so they don't have stroke at the end so that's why they cancel all those strokes. Sans serif doesn't have strokes. So the style is considered more clean because they are very clean than serif font. That's why I like using sans serif in place of serif. Also, it tends to be easier to read on computer screen, including smartphone and tablets. So you hardly see a mobile phone with serif fonts always they always use sans serif so font combination you know when you are trying to choose a font for your brand uh, the typography for your brand so is it's more advisable to choose like one or two so but if you are somebody that you just choose to design for people you can always use the same one or two for each project you want to work on so if you need more contrast probably if you want to create more font you want it to look more different 
you can use different size weights or style of the exact font you are using okay like look at this the heading is actually serif font the other heading the other subheading is lato that's and serif font the body of the 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 project is actually another sans serif font which is the same lato the only thing that this one was bold was it was emphasized make bold and italicized so this one they are just normal fonts so that's what they mean by when you are doing a project make sure you choose at least only one or two fonts for every project you are doing so the same thing when you are trying to choose your brand typography always use one or two typography so let's go to color what is color as you all know that color plays a vital role in designing an everyday life it can draw your eye to an image sometimes it can trigger an emotion uh, sorry emotional response so color can even communicate something important without using words like look at this this uh, traffic light you know when it turns it turns red means you should stop when it turns green means you can go and when it when it turns yellow it means you have few time to go so that so from green is turning to yellow then it's turning to red which red means stop so using color sometimes without word can work as well that's what that's the score behind color so primary and secondary color everybody is already familiar with all this primary color which is red yellow and blue but secondary color is the combination of two primary colors which is if you combine red and yellow it will give you orange if you combine yellow and blue it will give you green and if you combine blue and red it will give you purple so these are primary and secondary for colors so that's that primary secondary so primary and secondary color if we mix this color together we can get even more in between shades like red orange and yellow green so all the shades that we get are what we call color wheel so color wheel is just like the similarity between each colors so let's go to color combination if you want to eventually choose color for your brand or you want to work on a design and you want to choose color so that the color will not contradict each other these are the theory that you can use in combining colors so number one we have monochromatic color so when we talk about monochromatic is just like you picking a color and you choose just create different different variation of that color like this is red this is red this is red this is red but the only difference is that lighter 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 this is why is the most light so when you are trying to combine color you don't want to use so when you put this particular color on this particular color it will go the same thing on this color so i don't the same thing but it's just like trying to create different variation of one color you don't want to use more color you just want your design to be simple so you can ju just use one font color and uh, one color and you just create different variation which is which means different shades of that color so the best thing about monochrom monochromatic color schemes is that they are granted to match yes the colors with each other perfectly because they are from the same family they are from the same red so the second color combination is what we call analogous analogous is like combining colors that are next to each other on the color wheel so i said this is our color wheel and we want to choose analogous color which means we choose these three colors that they are next to each other so 
you can see this as well so that's the meaning of analogous choosing colors or combining colors that are next to each other so another one is complementary is choosing two colors that are opposite each other it can be this it can be this it can be this it can be this yes it can be this it can be this sorry with this so it's just the idea behind complementary color is that they are opposite each other on the color wheel so red and green and opposite are opposite each other so it starts like that so to avoid complementary color scheme that are too simplistic add some variety by introducing lighter and darker so like the way we talk we, we we talk about in the monochromatic color so you can create different shades of one color or, or the two colors so split complementary so in this split complementary instead of choosing the colors that are opposite each other so you now ignored one that is opposite each other and you go and pick two that are beside it so that's the that's the meaning of split complementary you can see from the combination here so the red the kind of yellow and this blue so this blue is just like the other blue is like okay creating another shade of this blue so the next one is try the tridic um tridic color combination is like color that are evenly spaced forming a perf perfect triangle you can see the triangle so what is the meaning of evenly spaced if you count from this color to this color you see we have one two three from this to this we have one two three and from this to this we have one two three so that's the meaning of triadic color combination so choosing color that are evenly spaced spaced from each other to form a perfect triangle on the wheel so tetradic is using two complementary color pairs two complementary color pairs what they mean by this is that This is complementary color. Right? This is complementary color. But instead of you instead of you using the one that is complementary uh, sorry. Instead of using the complementary color, use the one that is the pair which is this one. So that's the meaning of so that's the meaning of tetradic uh, color combination so using two complementary color pairs okay and this color this formula works best if you let one color dominate while the other serve as an accent so these are the color combination you can use when you are selecting your brand color or you are selecting a color to work with in a project so tips every brand needs all these things they need you need logo you need your typography you need to you need your color and once you, you need your images once once you choose you work on these four stuffs four things you must be consistent about it because consistency is the key it's what keeps your product your brand your services in people's mind and it gives them visual interaction with your brand like when they see your color when they see your typography they know okay this is this particular brand so with this you have come to the end of the today's class and in our next class we doing our designs 
so i hope you enjoyed the class and if you have any question feel free to send to my dear thank you